A lot of you probably don't even know who this person is, but actress Sarah Michelle Gellar slams Roblox after Sun's account was hacked. I I mean I barely remember her. She was in a she was like a star actress in a bunch of stuff back in like the late 90s, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She was in a couple of movies that were really big. But other than that, she really hasn't done diddly squat. But I found this on the messenger.com. It says the Buffy the Vampire star took her Instagram stories to express her displeasure, writing, This isn't what I've been dealing with after my sons at Roblox got hacked. I had to cancel my credit card and now my life is basically canceled at Roblox. Why don't you have better parental help? <laughs> Okay, first of all, calm down, Sarah Michelle Brock Lesnar. She should have been watching her kid on Roblox and tying your credit card to the app. I mean, that's not his fault. That's your fault. Once you sign up for an account, you tie credit cards to it. Your son didn't just tie this credit card to his account. You did it. But anyways, this goes on. The post also included a message from Apple noting that her account has been disabled in the App Store and iTunes. So she got really pissed off. Your account has been disabled in the App Store. And I like how she's so dramatic about it. This is what I've been dealing with like dude calm down there's worse things in the fucking world bro you know what i'm saying it's unclear whether geller was able to resolve the situation reddit users weren't necessarily sympathetic to geller's play yeah exactly either am i i think this is the most dramatic version of i've had to cancel my card then go back and set up my entire life on a new different card wrote a one user oh my god this person here i hate how funny i find this like she is so rich and i love her but the idea of her having to cancel her accounts because of her son's Roblox is so funny. It's not funny. I mean, that part of it's not funny. That does suck. I don't, I don't blame her for being frustrated about that. But the fact that she had to go on and act like her life is ruined, that, that was the big word right there. Life is ruined. That was, the, that was the sentence that's like, okay, calm down, bro. A third commenter could relate to the situation. I, too, am a victim. My kid spent something like $300. I got it all back and her got her account deleted permanently. Sucks to suck, kiddo. They posted. <laughs> Uh, there's Sarah Michelle Gellar for those that don't know. I just find this kind of stuff entertaining and funny because it's like you got these rich, spoiled brat actors. And I'm not saying that she doesn't have a right to be mad. I'd be mad too, but don't have to go post it on social media. You're an actor, so you got a huge following, right? She could have just vented to her friends and family or something like that. So let's look her up. Sarah Michelle Gellar, but she was in movies like I Know What You Did Last Summer, Scream 2, Cruel Intentions, which was a big movie. But then real, oh yeah, and she did the Scooby-Doo movies. But my point I'm making is that she's not really done a lot of schnickles in the last decade or two, okay? She's really kind of fallen off the map, and that's what happens with a lot of these old school celebrities. You know what I mean? They get, they get a hot run, they, they have all these TV shows and movies that are all hot, and then all of a sudden but anyways, back to Sarah Michelle Geller. So she's just being critical and dramatic over this whole thing. And uh, this kind of stuff, when you start seeing a glimpse behind the curtain of their, their real life, it's kind of sad. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm rambling on. That's all I want to talk about. And we'll talk to you later.